Annie, you have a really hard job right now. Ugh. You got this. Annie. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Tom's sister. My name is Annie Carroll. And according to my mom, I'm not funny. Um, so let's get this started. Um, if you understand that reference, then it's funny. Um, okay. So I've been reading a lot um, about these types of speeches online, as one does when they're asked to make a speech. And I've been seeing a lot about the first time, you know, you talk about the first time you met the couple, essentially. And um, I have to say, I really think that Morgan has an advantage over Tom in this category because I honestly don't remember meeting Tom. <laughs> um, as you know, I am the younger sibling. I mean, don't get me wrong, everybody has told me that, you know, Tom was personable and outgoing and cool and very easy to talk to, but like, I'm just like, I guess, honestly. Like, I don't know what the vibe is really. Um, and I'm just gonna say that my first impression of Tom was just a lot of, like looking at him and being like, who is that and why are they yelling at that other person? <laughs> and honestly, that was Tim. So that was fun though, as well. I learned about Tim and Tom kind of at the same time. Um, so that's kind of my first impression of Tom. Um, but now I'm gonna go to Morgan. Um, the first time I met Morgan, I was terrified. <laughs> um, I couldn't believe that Tom was bringing someone from Missouri, a place I had really never even heard that much about. Except that it was I knew kind of knew about the Cardinals, but like not that much. I knew it was somewhere in the central of the United States, but honestly, I didn't know anything about Missouri. Um, and when Tom, uh, thank you, yes, yeah. And when Tom said he was moving there, I mean, I had, I didn't know anything about it. So I knew he had met this girl named Morgan and that they were, they were coming for Thanksgiving. So I was terrified. And just to put it in perspective, I mean, me and my fiance, Brendan Drake, um, <laughs> um, we've been dating since 2011, and his parents only came to our Thanksgiving last year. So I <laughs> really was getting in there, like, as soon as possible. Um, yeah, it was a great Thanksgiving, but truly, they just came last year. That's not a joke. That's really serious. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I knew that it had to be really serious for her to make this journey, to come across the country, to meet people she had never met. And, um, you know, what stuck out to me most is that she was just incredibly kind and that she just really wanted to know everything about all of Tom's friends and his connections, his family. Uh, like my dad said, um, you know, she started calling him Papa C. Upon meeting her, I was cis, and I didn't have a cis, so that was very exciting. Um, uh, and again, about that, that night, you know, a tradition of going, to, you know, Thanksgiving week is going out on that Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Um, and especially in Rhode Island, it's sort of like a high school reunion of sorts. You kind of see everyone you've ever known ever if you go to two bars in Providence. Um, so Tim was having a pregame at his apartment. Um, probably not fire code safety uh, available, like probably like 80, 80 people were in this apartment. Definitely not, not suited for that. Um, but Tom probably introduced Morgan to upwards of 40 people, like just walking around the room as the precious angel she was, just showing her around. Like, this is Morgan, this is Morgan. And she was so invested in every conversation. I, I honestly couldn't believe it. She really cared about everyone life and how they knew Tom and she wanted to get to know everyone after coming off the plane and just being tired you know oh, I don't want to do anything no Morgan was ready and she was invested and she knew that this was important to Tom because as you know Tom has a lot of friends <laughs> and Tom is, is he doesn't say no to a lot of stuff so he has a lot of friends and he likes to talk to a lot of people um, so that was really the first thing that so stood out to me about Morgan is that she wanted to be part of Tom's life immediately, and she wanted Tom's friends to feel like they were her friends. And just like our family, Morgan has fit in immediately. Um, you know, she just really wanted to be invested in our family upon the moment she came to Rhode Island. And so I honestly think that's probably her most amazing quality is that she makes you feel important just upon meeting her and she wants you to be involved in her life and, and feel like you're part of her family. So. I think she's done an amazing job 
at building this life with Tom, the house, the dog. I mean, what else can I say? I feel like they're already off to an amazing start. And Saturday is just like the tip of a new iceberg. They're gonna start a whole new life together. And I can't wait to see what happens. And I'm so glad that I have a new sister. <laughs> um, so cheers to Tom and Morgan. Thank you. Annie, I think you're fine. You weren't, she was pretty funny. Too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah